Hello everybody, my name is Sean and welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another, um, um, oh, no, no, not another, uh, welcome back to something new uh, on the channel, or, w welcome, uh, fucking, ignore me, okay, ignore me, but welcome to something new on the channel, well, it's, is it something new? On this channel it might be something new, so I had a channel before this uh, called Showboy33. Uh, that was my original channel. It's still up if you want to go check some videos on it. Uh, I, I wouldn't recommend it because they're not good. But there used to be a thing I'd done uh, on FIFA, uh, of, all, of all places. On FIFA, uh, I made a team uh, of transfer rumours before the transfer window started. Uh, that was like really, I don't know. Like they were talked about a lot, like the biggest biggest transfer rumours uh, of that season. Uh and I, I done this for two seasons I think. I done it back to back. Um and I thought I'll do it again, just not on FIFA because that's it's, it's a childish way of doing it. So I thought I'd go on Sky Sports, as you can see on the screen right now, uh and I will go on to the like January twenty twenty two transfer window done deals. There you go, that's so, because the transfer window is now shut, it's the 7th of February, so I'm, I'm 7 days late, technically. Uh, but, I just wanted to go out across, uh, like, all, everything in this, um, to rate, rate the transfer out of 10. Now, these are just my opinions, you don't have to agree with them. Uh, and, a lot of... Um, a lot of deals that were done within Europe or uh, European players coming to other clubs like um, I don't know just like a, a Juventus player or someone from the Serie A or the Bundesliga or something uh, uh, I, I won't I don't know much about those players because I don't spend time watching those leagues and I'll be honest I don't but I know how certain players play uh, I know like the big players how they play and how how good they are and stuff so uh, I'll just be speaking on ones that I can speak on uh, and a lot of the championship deals like uh, the EFL championship I might not be able to speak on because I don't watch the championship obviously I don't support a team in the championship but let's get started so in the Premier League Dele Alley uh, from Tottenham to Everton for 40 million um, I don't think it's a good deal. It's good for Tottenham. Tottenham have, Tottenham are loving life for this. But for Everton, I think they could have got another player. Like I don't know. Like I remember Liverpool was looking at Carvalho from Fulham, I believe. Um, and I I think. He's also a cheaper price, and I think he's better at this moment in time than Dele Alli. Uh, I don't think Dele Alli has proved a lot in recent years to get a move for £40 million. Uh, so, for Tottenham, good. For Everton, not so good. Uh, he's, just, he's just not the player that Everton needed, I, th I don't think, anyway. Um, so, I'm going to give this transfer a 3 out of 10 because he could still surprise us all and come with something mad but I don't think he will so 3 out of 10 um, the next one Christian Eriksen uh, obviously went through that uh, during the Euros which was very heartbreaking to watch uh, but he's fully recovered now I believe and he was he was spending time uh, training with I can't remember I, I don't think he was training with Inter Milan. He was training with somebody though. Um, and I think he's back to full health now. He just needs to get back to full f uh, fitness. But he went to Brentford. And I think this is a good move all round. Eriksen going to, going, coming back to the Premier League. Um, is, I mean it's never going to be a bad thing. Uh, and I think it's just. I don't know. But Brentford. Are a, a fantastic team to get in Christian Eriksen right now because obviously they the Brentford have a project going on right now like they're a really really um 
I don't know, like threatening team, I suppose. Like they they're not they're not afraid to go up against like a a a top six or any of those kind of teams, you know. Like they went up against Liverpool and really fucking pushed Liverpool to their to their like hardest hardest. Like I don't know, I, I, you know what I'm trying to say. But they they push Liverpool a lot, and I think Christian Eriksen is gonna is gonna help them along with that. Um, so I'm gonna give this transfer an eight out of ten. Um, I think because I th- I think it's just good all round. Um, moving on, White Weghorst uh, from Wolfsburg to Burnley. Now there will be one further down here. Um, Chris Wood from. Uh, Burnley to Newcastle for 25 mil, I believe. So for 30 mil less than they sell Chris Wood for, I believe they got a better striker. Um, yeah, I think they got a better striker. And for 30 million less, I'm going to give this like an 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10. Like that is, that's good business from Burnley. To sell Chris Wood, who is like a fucking amazing striker for them, Obviously, um, for twenty five million, and for, in the first place, twenty five million for Chris Wood to get that is fantastic. Um, but then to bring in someone who's like arguably better um, for more than half of what you sell the other one for, it, it can't be a bad transfer. So I'm gonna say a nine out of ten for that transfer. Mad. I'm gonna start going through these a bit quicker. Um, sorry, I'm losing breath quite a lot. Sorry about that. Uh, so, Julian Alvarez, River Plate to Manchester City. Now, this is one I can speak on um, more because obviously I am a I am a Man City fan, uh, and I think this was a good transfer from us. Uh, I I never done the YouTube thing. I never went and fucking googled them or anything like that because. I know if I went and done the YouTube thing, I'd get my hopes up and then it might come and be absolute shit. I mean, that still might happen. Like, you know, it, it's not it's not opposed to happen and it might happen. But from what what um, sources have been saying online, that he's a fantastic striker. And obviously, Man City need a striker right now. We don't, well, we don't need a striker. It's just we are looking for a striker. Um... And a lot of people are saying he's like literally the Aguero copy. Like he does the same celebrations kind of. He's like the, the Spider-Man thing. Um, but it's he's a good player. He's a good striker. He's young. Uh, so he can grow with us. Um, but yeah, I'm going to say 7 out of 10. Because obviously I don't really know what he can do yet. So maybe six and a half, seven, Because I don't know what he can do yet. But um he, 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 it's looking promising for us. Um, so Rodrigo Bentancur again, and and Kulusevski. I'm going to do these in two. Um, again, these are the kind of players that I don't really know much about. Like I don't know how Bentancur plays. I know how Kulusevski plays because I've seen him play a couple of times, but I don't know about Bentancur, so I can't speak on Bentancur. But uh, Kulusevski is a is a is, he's a he's a good player he's a good player and for Tottenham I think it it will help them a lot to have Son on one side and Kulusevski on the other with Harry Kane in the middle I think that'll that will really help them a, a fair bit. Uh, it is only a loan deal but hope I think uh, it might be like a like there there'll be a clause in there like at the end of the season if they do want to buy him it'll be there'll be a price for that so. I think that's a decent transfer. I think that's like a seven and a half out of ten. I'm gonna say, uh, Ben Dunker again. I'm not gonna rate because I don't know. Like it might be a good price for him. It might be a bad price. He might be a good player. It might be average. I don't know. I honestly, I I have no idea. Um, Matt Target Aston Villa to Newcastle on loan. I didn't actually know about this one. I didn't even see this about this, but um. I mean that's good for Newcastle. Um, and they're they're they've got two decent fullbacks now for the rest of the season. Uh, obviously they they bought Kieran Trippy, um, but Matt Target is a pretty pretty good uh, fullback. Um, and I think Aston Villa's smart there because obviously they brought in Digne, uh and they've got 
someone else as well. I can't even remember. But they've they've already got like decent fullbacks, so then putting him out on loan to give him uh, game time so he doesn't get unhappy at the club. Smart move. Uh, I'm not going to rate it because it's a loan deal, but um, I mean, I'm saying that I rated the Kulsevsky one, but I'm not going to rate it. Um, but it's, yeah, I think it's decent. This is one I'm not going to speak on. I don't know who that is. I don't know what this club is. Um, so I'm not going to speak on that. Uh, Donny van de Beek, Man U to Everton. Now, I think it's a good move on all parts, uh, apart from Man United. Uh, so, obviously, the big thing about Van de Beek at Man United was he never played. I think he, he come on from the bench a couple of times. He maybe started a pre-season match or something, but there, he, he never really played for Manchester United, which is it's a shame because obviously he came from Ajax to Man United, a big move for him, and like it, it looked like Man U had a decent, decent like uh, idea of what they wanted in a player and it looked like a really good move from them but then they didn't play him which it, it baffles me quite a bit um, but for Van de Beek really good move to move away from United to actually play I suppose uh, and Everton are getting a really good player in terms of their team on their hands it is a loan deal but I think again uh, there is a, a, a buying clause uh, there, um, but yeah, I think that's a that's a good move all round. So I'm gonna say an eight or a seven or eight uh, out of ten. Let's see who else. Uh, Dan Burn Brighton to Newcastle. Now I don't know. I've seen Dan Burn a couple of times, and he's not he's not the best, but you know Newcastle need need just better than what they've got um, and I think I think that's that's pretty decent um, but yeah I'd, I'd, I'd say that's I'd say that's pretty pretty good uh, are these oh this is just January 31st okay um, cool uh, Nico Williams Liverpool to Fulham uh, I think that's a really good move uh, from Liverpool to get uh, Nico Williams some just just game time again. Just game time to turn them into a better player, um, because every time Williams has played, he's not really been impressive. Now I know this because the one of my housemates, uh, they they're a Liverpool fan. So, uh, but yeah, like he's not been on the level of even like Simicast or anything like that. And I think he just needs to have like game time to reach that that level again so yeah I think that's a decent decent move so I'm gonna say uh, 7 out of 10. Uh, Matete I've heard that name but I've never seen him play so I'm not gonna say anything about that. Jamie Murphy to Manfield uh, I, I did watch Jamie Murphy a couple of times for Hibs um, and he's 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 a, he's a not bad player um, I wouldn't say he's a great player but uh, for Mansfield, I'd say he's he's a he's a very decent player. Um, who else? Who else? I remember. I think uh, it's not here right now, but uh, Patrick Roberts uh, from I can't even remember where he played now, but he went to uh, Sunderland, which obviously I I live there. Um, but he went he went to Sunderland. Uh, which I think is a good move for someone. They need they need someone that's quick down that down that wing. Uh, we I I watched a game, uh, Sunderland v Lincoln. Uh, they got beat three one. Uh, obviously Maguire. I think he got a hat trick in the game, uh, and the fans wanted to kill him. <laughs> but I think that's a decent move uh, from Sunderland to get Patrick Roberts. Um, who else? I seen Nat Phillips. Nat Phillips to Bournemouth on loan. Again, pretty decent. But l last night, when I'm recording this, last night, uh, Bournemouth got knocked out of the FA Cup to uh, Boreham Wood. So I don't know if he was playing or not. But if he was, then it's not a great start. Um, Aidan O'Brien, someone to Portsmouth. I don't. That's weird from Sunderland. I think O'Brien was like a pretty decent, decent player for them. 
Um, so I don't know. Well, that's a name I recognise. <laughs> Miles Hippolyte. Now, if you don't know Miles Hippolyte, obviously he played for he played for uh, Stockport County, but uh, he 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 played for Dunfermline uh, for a couple of seasons uh, when we still had uh, El Back Two. Uh, and those those kind of players, uh, but yeah, it, I don't I don't know where he went. He must have went to Stockport County, or somewhere before that. Uh, but he played for Dunfermline. He was a pretty decent player um, for us. But you know, I don't know. I don't know how he plays now. Um, Lewis or Louis, uh, a pair. Um, Dundee United to North, Northampton. I think that's a good move for Northampton. I've watched him play a couple of. Th- Couple of times for Dundee United, uh, and he was he was pretty he was pretty good. Again, uh, one of my housemates in this uh, in the house uh, supports Dundee United, and he said he was a pretty decent player. So I'm gonna I'm gonna trust him on this one. Uh, Luke Bolton, uh, Man City to Salford say, I think that's good for uh, Bolton because I don't think he was ever gonna make it as a starter for us. Uh, but yeah, just decent move. I'm I'm going through these quite quickly because I don't know much about them. Uh, Todd, this is this is a weird one for me. Uh, I I was I'm speaking to this. I was speaking to uh, two of my housemates about this. Todd Cantwell, Norwich to Bournemouth. Oh, it's on loan, but I think they're going to buy him at the end of the season. Um, I think it's a weird move because Norwich, as everyone knows, is a usual club. Um, which I made a mistake in my Premier League predictions to say that they were gonna they were gonna stay up. I think I said that anyway. Or they weren't gonna get bought in the league or whatever. But Norwich are like a, a yo yo club, obviously, as everyone knows, they come up, they go down, they come up, they go down, it's getting quite boring now. <laughs> but I think Boris another one of those clubs. Um which then is weird for Norwich to then let him go to Bournemouth unless it was out of their hands which I don't know but then it's weird for uh, Cantwell to want to go to Bournemouth I know they're they're probably going to come up um, next season but um, it's just weird that he wants to go to another club that's very similar to Norwich in terms of where they're going to be positioned in the league Um, but maybe, maybe Bournemouth's got a uh, a project on the go that Cantwell was interested in, uh, but I, ju- I just thought it was a, a weird move all round. <laughs> oh, Snod- <laughs> Snodgrass has been released, which I don't I don't blame West Brom for because Snodgrass is he's he's not a good player. He's he's quite shit if I'm being honest. Um, what else? What else we got? Okay, that's the end of the English leagues. Uh, again, I've only went through a few um, because I don't know about a lot, a lot of the players. Uh, but yeah, so we're into the Scottish Premiership now. Uh, again, I'm only really gonna uh, pick up on players that I know. Uh, Tim Akinola, uh, my my pal was talking about uh, him, and he was really excited for him to come into the club. Uh, so he's obviously a, a a pretty decent player, and he'll be even better for Dundee United. Um, a weird, weird transfer. Aaron Ramsey, Juventus to Rangers. Uh, that was that's strange. That's a strange, strange move. Like I, I seen him. Was it last night? It was on Sky Sports News. Uh, like he was running onto the pitch in the Rangers kit, and it's just, it's it's so weird. Good move for Rangers. Absolutely great move for Rangers. Um, but weird for Ramsey, I think. <laughs> but you know, uh, yeah, decent move. Oh, okay, that, that was it. I thought they were gonna go like get the Celtic uh, transfers, like the the Japanese trio that they got, because that uh, what's his name Hatate, um, or that Q, one of the two, um, or both of them maybe. But uh, I think Hatate, uh, he is he's. He looks like he's gonna be fucking amazing. Um, I think he was the one that scored the goal that kind of looked like um, sorry, kind of looked like Nakamura's goal um, when he played for Celtic. Uh, like they got it like outside the box, like 
maybe 10 yards outside the box and then uh, skipped it like bottom corner um, and I think Nakamura done that for Celtic I can't remember if it was Rio or Hatati but um, yeah they, they they got a really really good player there uh, here we go we'll, we'll talk about my club now talk about my club so uh, Jacob uh, Storsix Skeek or however you say that last name uh, the Leicester under 21 keeper um, very good move for us um, we really needed a decent a decent keeper because Fawn Williams own Fawn Williams good keeper but getting getting a little bit older now and uh, want to get into the coach and the staff a little bit uh, and then uh, Mehmet from Dundee United every time he's played for us he's been shocking um, so yeah I think it's good that we've got a decent goalkeeper in. Um, I I I really like that, and we got uh, what's his name? I can't remember, but there was there was a guy from Leeds, um, uh, a midfielder from Leeds, uh, under twenty one again. That looks like he'll pre he'll be pretty uh, pretty decent uh, for us, and we also got Stephen Wallace uh, from Motherwell, who looks like he'll be a a decent little signing for us. Uh, a very weird signing, because I thought I thought he was I thought he was happy at Motherwell, uh, but then it just came up one day that he'd signed for us. I was like, oh, fantastic! We've also lost a lot of players though, uh, unfortunately. But you know, you win some, you lose some, I suppose. Um, now this this is the very um, subject to opinion one, but everyone looks like they've got the same opinion. Uh, David Goodrelly, Clyde to Rafe Rovers. Uh, so if you don't know this, David Goodrelly, uh, a while ago got uh, convicted, I think, uh, of I think it was rape or sexual assault. Um, I I hope I don't get demonetized for saying them because I'm I'm telling a story as I say this one, but yeah, I think it was sexual assault or rape or abuse to a partner or something. Um, and he went to Rafe Rovers, obviously you can see that he went to Rafe Rovers, uh, and it, it caused a complete devastation for, for Rafe Rovers, which, it's a, it's a serious topic, obviously, but I think, I, I, I love it, because obviously Dunfermline and Rafe Rovers are uh, rivals, so it's, 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 it's not good to see at all, but it's a bit, comforting for me because Rafe Rovers have been doing well and for well what happened was obviously I signed uh, there was six members of the board I think two members of the board two, uh, sorry I, I looked away from the mic there but two members of the board uh, said no we don't want to sign him it's bad reputation we we care about football and he's a good striker but we don't want to sign him because he's because of the the story behind them and uh, the conviction but four members of the board uh, completely ignored that and went through with the signing anyway uh, which led to the sponsor of the club uh, Val McDermott she left the club uh, she pulled her sponsorship out of the club um, the announcer for the game like the stadium announcer he left uh, a few of the, the management team, I think they left. Um, the captain for the Rafe Rovers women's team, she left, she wasn't having it either. And the fans are boycotting uh, Rafe Rovers, they're not going to the games, they're not, they're just, they're not having any of it, which, uh, to be fair, if it happened to my club, I wouldn't be going either, I'd be boycotting. And I think it's a good thing that people are standing up against this. Um, and I think Rafe Rovers are looking into having his contract uh, just written off and dismissed and ripped up pretty much and just uh, release him again uh, but you know as I said he's a good striker but if if your club signs someone like that there's there's questions to be asked and there's questions to be asked about the, the club's morals and the club's ethics um, because they said they signed them 
uh, on based on football terms only. But yeah, that's that's all well and good. But it's the story that comes with the football, um, which obviously is not a good story. So it was it was uh, very very bad. But hopefully it gets resolved because the whole league is literally just focusing on this now which as I mean as they should but as soon the sooner he goes the sooner the league can just move on and just keep keep its name and Rafe Rovers can get back to to um back to basics. But um yeah, let's move on. How long have I been recording anyway? Uh twenty five minutes. Which I'm not gonna cut down, I'm just gonna keep it like this. So I think we'll stop there. We can go over more if you want me to go over more. Uh but yeah, that that's that's it for uh today. Sorry, that was just a little sit down talk. I just wanted to go over transfers and give my opinions on them because I think it's just an interesting topic to go over. Uh I I I love looking at transfers, I love looking at players moving clubs and stuff and I don't know why that's interesting to me, but it's just, I, 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 I enjoy it. So, oh god. Apologies. Look at, by the way, look at this. Look at that. Oh, big rash. Um, but yeah, so. If you guys did enjoy this video, remember to smash the like button on it. Um, just let me know that you're enjoying these videos. Put it down in the comments if you want to see this again. Uh, but if you don't, tell me what else you do want to see uh, on the channel. Um, subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any of the content coming up on the channel and yeah, I will see you guys in the next video, goodbye